Well, the Griffins have won three in a row, go for a season-high fourth consecutive win today, right back here in Chicago at Allstate Arena. It's a noon start Eastern time. We'll have pregame coverage coming your way at 1135 on ESPN 961. Griffins got a rare win in Rockford a couple of nights ago. Here's how rare. It took the Griffins 21 games to get their 16th win at the Panther Arena, the new home of the Milwaukee Admirals. It was the 49th visit to BMO Harris Bank Center that netted their 16th win two nights ago, and it was a big one. Yeah, it was a big, uh, big team effort by the guys. Um, you know, start to finish, we played pretty solid, and type of, it was kind of a playoff type atmosphere. So I think that was good. I think we, the more games we play like that, the better off we'll be going into the stretch run here. Well, during our preview leading up to the game in Rockford on Tuesday, we talked about balanced scoring having been a key to success for the Griffins of late. And certainly it was on display again at BMO Harris Bank Center. Dennis Chalowski scores his third of the season, all coming in the last 11 games after failing to score in the first 13. And how about Tanner Spezia, his sixth of the year? It turns out to be the game winner on an assist from Dominic Shine. Yes, indeed, scoring is coming from uh, up and down that Griffins roster. Yeah, we're on a great run. Um, we just have to keep it going. You know, this is the big playoff push right now. Everybody's... You know, really tight and, and trying to win so we just have to keep it going yeah you know we were looking for something there in the third and we knew that we you know we we needed that it's a playoff game um just a, a great play you know mo had a big block in the d zone then our line getting up ice turge made a good play to shine and then shine threaded the needle to me and fortunately i was able to score and get the boys going and then we were able to hang on for the win well you can score goals in bundles but if you don't get goaltending uh, your chances of winning are greatly diminished Griffins are getting outstanding net mining from both Calvin Pickard and Pat Nagel Nagel what a story out of Fair State uh, University the ninth year pro has spent most of his career in the East Coast Hockey League six games in the AHL up until this year now 15 games with the Griffins and a 2.00 goals against he was the goalie of record in the 2-1 win at Rockford as well yeah, it's been great. Guys have been battling for me, and uh, we've kind of caught our stride here as, as of late. Uh, just looking at the little things of PK, everything we've improved upon, and uh, guys are starting to score some big goals as well. Well, as of this recording, not sure who's in, who's out as far as the lineup is concerned. Nor do we know who's going to start in net. But uh, the Griffins and the Wolves will play here this afternoon again at 12 o'clock. It's a big, big hockey game. Griffins sitting in third place by themselves now, two points ahead of Chicago, who've got a couple of games in hand on them. And, of course, the other teams in the Central Division breathing down the Griffins' neck. We do know that Matt Pumple will once again be out today. That's about all we can tell you. But we will fill you in on everything else you need to know about the Griffins and the game today during our pregame coverage on ESPN at 1135 this morning. We hope you'll join us. And then this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Griffin's back home to take on San Antonio. Thanks for tuning in to our game day preview brought to you by Michigan First Credit Union.